Another field traditionally dominated by men, aviation. Only about 6% of pilots are women. Those that have achieved that status jumped over incredible hurdles. We talked to three women in different types of aviation at the New England Air Museum in Windsor Locks. This trio has earned their stripes in the world of aviation, pushing through male-dominated skies. Terry Vandendolder of Madison, an American Airlines pilot, also served the country for nearly 30 years in the United States Air Force and Reserves, becoming a decorated lieutenant colonel. Kathy Wadsworth of Farmington is an aeronaut who flew balloons over remote areas of the world. And Peggy Leffler of Oakville started flying as a child and became a flight instructor and examiner, producing America's newest pilots. When I went into pilot training in the Air Force in 1982, um, combat exclusion laws were in place. Women were not allowed to fly fighters. When I started in the 70s, I don't know, there might have been 3,000 balloon pilots in the world. How many women? Maybe 20. I never saw a woman in the cockpit of a commercial plane because they were not allowed to fly. Can you imagine flying this thing? Terry Vandendolder decided to take to the air while a student at UConn. She went on to become a top-notch pilot, finding herself flying missions, some solemn during Operation Desert Storm. We were carrying a full airplane from top to bottom, front to back, with empty metal caskets, just in case they were needed later on and unfortunately after the barracks at Dahran were hit by a Scud missile um, I was actually on the flight that returned 12 of those back to the US um, from Dahran with KIAs or our soldiers men and women that were killed in action another be, dangerous um, mission landing a C141 on an ice runway at McMurdo Station in Antarctica in 1986. There's no earth below your runway. And just the sensation of landing on ice and also the view of all that white. The touchdown was so smooth and so you could feel the ice just gently giving way. In the 1970s, Kathy Wadsworth and a male counterpart flew hot air balloons all over the world, including Venezuela, achieving altitude, distance, and duration records. It was challenging. I mean, these areas that we were flying in were remote. One was Angel Falls, which is the tallest waterfall in the world. Um, one was uh, an archipelago of like, I don't know, 113 little islands off the coast of Venezuela in the Caribbean. I'm feeling the air, whether it's cold or warm or uh, you know I'm, I'm seeing the landscape I'm it's really intimate Leffler a chief flight instructor at Berkshire Aviation in Massachusetts is bringing oh, women of note in flight together in a future permanent exhibit at the New England Air Museum I find great pleasure in sharing my passion for being in the sky with someone who's who's brand new to flying don't deny yourself you know, go for it we all did and to find out more about the New England Air Museum, which will soon house a permanent women in aviation exhibit, go to WTNH.com in the Celebrating Women section. And News 8 is recognizing some of Connecticut's most remarkable women. Join Anne tomorrow night for our special Celebrating Women at 7 o'clock right here on News 8.